Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer here for the finale of, of the Lightning Assault tournament. tournament. We are in the final, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, normally at the end of each mini tournament, I would hold a poll down below in the comments section to see what mini tournament you want next. That will not be happening this time because I already have a mini tournament planned out in my head, which was meant to be like an Easter special tournament, but it's kind of gone Easter now, so better late than never, eh? It is going to be an egg tournament. So it's, that's going to be very interesting to see. But anyway, that's in the future. On to the present. And we have three matches here because we have three dinosaurs. In the final, we have Alpha Chasmosaurus, Alpha Ineosaurus, and the Pachyrhinosaurus. And they will all play each other one. And the one that has the most points at the end will win the championship. So you'll get three points for a win, one point for a draw, and nil for a loss. Right. Without further ado, let's get on with the first matchup. Right, the then, in the red corner, we have our Alpha Chasmosaurus, who has been solid and consistent throughout this whole tournament. Although, it did take him a while to get past the Orinoceratops in the semis, but other than that, this boy has been solid and consistent. And uh, actually hasn't yet to lose a single round. I mean, there was the draw, but that was about it. Because I think it overall it beat the Rhinoceratops 2 now. I might be wrong. I'll have to double check the video. But anyway, in the blue corner, we got the boy, we got the man, the myth, the legend, the Alpha Ineosaurus. This boy is a savage. He just does not care about anything in this game. But will that savagery be enough to win him this tournament? We'll have to see. Oh, we start with a tie. Like, I would like to say that Alpha Ineosaurus out of the three is the underdog, but, you know, it, it, it's done well and it knocked out the Stratosaurus in the semis very impressively to get book his place here. But, that's a banana surprise here, a good start from the Kaz. Ooh, but Ineosaurus gets off, the, gets off his first hit of this match. Getting off a lightning axe as well, this savage just does not care about anything. Okay, I'll, I'll, yeah, I won't say that again. <laughs> Ooh, it's an Alpha Dice, and if this is a 6, this might be a 1-0 lead for Alpha Ineosaurus, but it's not as a 2. Will we get Lightning Axe? No Lightning Axe this time, but Alpha Ineosaurus takes the lead. Ooh, this could be 1-0 to Alpha Ineosaurus. See, it doesn't matter if Alpha Chasmosaurus has more health. Alpha Ineosaurus, well, he didn't get lucky there with the Alpha Dart. Chasmosaurus dodges the bullet. Well, Counter Blitz is get, getting triggered. Normally, that would guarantee Chasmosaurus at least a hit. Not when you face Alpha Ineosaurus, because he does not care about Counter Blitz. Look at the savage going, look at that. No Counter Blitz for Alpha Chasmosaurus. Although, it's only one tie bomb, so Cal Chasmosaurus clinging on here. Can Alpha Chasmosaurus punish the Ineosaurus for not finishing him, finishing him off when he had the chance? Ooh, he might, he might. Wow, what a tight first round this has been. Although, if the Chasmosaurus can snatch this... Oh, he has! Alpha Chasmosaurus snatches the first round from Alpha Ineosaurus to take the 1 0 lead. And yes, this is a best out of three as well. Alpha Ineosaurus getting a bit unlucky there with those Alpha darts and dice. But it's Alpha Chasmosaurus that has the 1 0 lead. And this boy just does not like losing. Right, that was an entertaining first round, wasn't it? Let's get on with round two. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. A fitting, a fitting battlefield for these two. And yes, I did watch the semi-final video again, and yes, the Alpha Chasmosaurus did in fact die in that round. The Orinoceratops did manage to beat it once. But still, my point still stands, the Alpha Chasmosaurus doesn't like to die. <laughs> it's very consistent and very convincing. And it has the lead in this finale. Ooh, just the start you would have wanted, getting off the first hit. I know it was a crit, but Banana Surprise and the crit do the same amount of damage. <laughs> Whoops! The tie. Ooh, another tie. 
Alpha Aeneasaurus is is his running this tournament coming to an end. I think it might I think I think this Chasmosaurus might be a step too far. Come on, Aeneasaurus, just get one hit on the board. Oh no! No, nope, no, nope, he's done. <laughs> oh no! The savage itself, the the savage buffalo boy itself, just could not get any momentum in this match against the Alpha Chasmosaurus. And the Alpha Chasmosaurus defeats the Alpha Aeneasaurus in the first match of the finale. Well, one more win will do it for Alpha Chasmosaurus. As for Alpha Aeneasaurus, he's still in, in with a chance. He just needs to hope that the Alpha Chasmosaurus loses in this next matchup. Right, let's get on with our second match of the finale, which is Pachyrhinosaurus going up against Alpha Chasmosaurus. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena again. Wow, see a lot of the Alpha Arena in this tournament. In the red corner, we have the Pachyrhinosaurus. The Pachyrhinosaurus, the powerhouse itself. But again, has been very solid so far in this tournament. So it's no, no real surprise he's got this far. However, in the blue corner, and only one victory away from winning this tournament, we have the Alpha Chasmosaurus. Let's skip this since we already seen him before. <laughs> Ooh, one more win will do it for the Alpha Chasmosaurus. If he wins this matchup, he wins the tournament, and he will be the first Alpha Dinosaur to win to do so. Lot plenty to play for here. The Pachyrhinosaurus, though. Well, if the Pachyrhinosaurus wins this, then he is in the driving seat to win this tournament. And we'll have to face the Alpha Aeneasaurus next, which I would say is a favourable matchup because of the back, because of the heroic type and the fact that the Alpha Aeneasaurus is crit is paper scissors. Ooh, well after a con after a consecutive ties, it's Alpha Chasmosaurus getting the first hit. Ooh, we've got an After Effect of Banana Surprise. So you know what that means. Monsieur Casmo will be going Skizzers. Let's see what Pachyrhinosaurus will be going for. Y you can't go Rock. you go Paper. And it's another Banana Surprise. And this might be lethal? I know it does quite a decent amount of damage. Boosh! Oh, there it is! Down goes Pachyrhinosaurus! Alpha Chasmosaurus winning the first round there quite comfortably. Pachyrhinosaurus yet to get a hit. This is it, isn't it? It all comes down to this next matchup. Pachyrhinosaurus needs to win this next round to keep his tournament hopes alive. If he doesn't win, then the Chasmosaurus will be the champion. Well, this is it. It, all, it could all come down to this next matchup. Can the Chasmosaurus get this done? Or will the Pachyrhinosaurus give himself a fighting chance? Well, to do that, he needs to get a hit, and he hasn't got a hit yet in this match. See, seem fixated on getting off a neck crusher. Oh, oh, we start with a tie. We started with a tie last time, didn't we? Oh, it's a banana surprise! Okay, yeah, I, I think the Alpha Chasmo's gonna do it. It's got the momentum. The Packy Rhinosaurus just cannot get a hit. Oh, and he's blocked the move as well, so the Chasmosaurus will land damage again. Oh, and it could be a crit. Okay, not this time. It's a tie. That could be big. How big could that be there? Pachyrhinosaurus sparing himself from taking damage. Bree just cannot get a hit. Go on, Pachyrhinosaurus. Oh, is that it? Wow. Wow. This has been an absolute dominant display by the Alpha Chasmosaurus in the finale. Yep. Down she goes. And there is our champion. Ladies and gentlemen. The Chasmosaurus, the Alpha Chasmosaurus, wins the Lightning Tournament. And is, as I said before, it is the first Alpha Dinosaur to win a mini tournament. <laughs> Golf clap. <laughs> yeah, no surprise there. Alpha Chasmosaurus has been utterly dominant this whole tournament. Only a Rhinoceratops was able to kill it. But we still have one more match to go because... We gotta finish. We gotta. Uh, I gotta do this match, otherwise people are gonna be like, "Oh, well, we know the Chasmosaurus is gonna win if there's only two matches." <laughs> so yes, we will see the Pachyrhinosaurus going up against Alpha Ineosaurus for second place. Well, both of these two are basically playing for pride because the Alpha Chasmosaurus has already won. 
Can the Alpha Ainiosaurus finish on a flurry? Or will the Pachyrhinosaurus take his frustrations out on the Alpha Ainiosaurus? To find out, we? Honestly, I think Pachyrhinosaurus is going to win this match. Purely because of the neck crusher. Of course, he's got to get it off first, doesn't he? And we all know how savage this Alpha Ainiosaurus can be. As he just does not care about anything. He gets off the first hit. It's an Alpha Dice. It's a free this time. Boosh. I know people hate on the Pachyrhinosaurus design in this game, but you have to admit, it does look unique compared to other Pachyrhinosauruses in, in other dinosaur games and that. It does stand out a bit more. I like the colour scheme, to be honest. I mean, I would have liked it to be more paleo-accurate, but, you know, most of these dinosaurs are paleo-accurate. I mean, look at, look at friggin' Megaraptor, that thing's just a monstrosity. Has the, has the Ionosaurus lost his savagery? Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Pachyrhinosaurus there. Quite comfortably defeating the Alpha Ionosaurus there to get a 1-0 lead. But let's not count our savage boy out yet. He can still turn this around. You know the one thing I've noticed when doing these freeway finales is that there always seems to be one dinosaur that just dominates. Like, in this case, it was the Alpha Chasmosaurus. I mean, for the fire tournament, it was Machysaurus. For the grass tournament, it was Para. Actually, no, I think the grass tournament, we had, a two, we had just a 1v1. Anyway, anyway, back, back to the match, back to the match. Rambling again. Ooh, Pachyrhinosaurus gets the first hit. Oh, I kind of wanted to get off a neck crusher at the start, just to see how much damage it would do. But unfor well, unless the Ionosaurus wins, then maybe we'll see it next round. Oh, oh oops. <laughs> Ooh, Pachyrhinosaurus striking back, and Young Goyo dive to come, it's signature move. Meow, boosh. Ooh, a lightning axe, and it might be lethal, but no, didn't get off a lightning axe. Not that I'm surprised. i tell you what it hasn't got off yet in this match. A neck crusher, and that's because this Ineosaurus does, does not care about neck crusher. He's immune to it. Ooh, could have done with that luck in the Chasmosaurus match. Ooh, he's getting off a lightning axe as well. Out for Ineosaurus, coming back into it. Oh, that, that looked really nice. Then. That actually looked really nice when, when it did the lightning axe and the frill glowed. That looked really nice. I should screenshot that. Well, Alpha Ineosaurus not going out with a whimper just yet. Even in the score. Well, you know what that means. It all comes down to this next round. Right, the final round. And in fact, the final round of this whole tournament. And it's for second place. <laughs> Which one of these will get that second position? Like, for Alpha Ineosaurus, the fact they've got this far is an achievement. So he can, he can be really proud of how well he's done. As for Pachyrhinosaurus, probably a little bit lackluster in the final, to be honest. I thought we'd put more of a fight, particularly against the um, Alpha Chasmosaurus, but it just wasn't meant to be. Alpha Chasmosaurus just proved showing no mercy, approving why he's an Alpha. Boosh! Ooh, we got the Dino Man statue. Bonk! Smash! Big damage done, of course. Neck Crusher would do more damage. Oh, come on. Please be paper. Please be paper. Ow! I wanted it to be paper. I'm not against the Alpha Aeneasaurus. I just want to see how much damage Neck Crusher will do to it. But I don't think I'm going to see it. Although, Pachyrhinosaurus does get a crucial hit. But Aeneasaurus, one hit away from Seelin's second place. Oh, here we go. Now we finally see a Neck Crusher. But the Alpha Ineosaurus has taken a beating already, so it's 100% dead. Well, Alpha Ineosaurus was on the brink of second place. But the Pachyrhinosaurus said no, 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 no. And indeed, lands a Neck Crusher on the Alpha Ineosaurus that does in fact care about Neck Crusher. Because it died to Neck Crusher. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion 
of the Lightning Assault Tournament. So yeah, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. We'll say congratulations to the Alpha Chasmosaurus, who joins the illustrious Hall of Dinosaurs that have won mini tournaments. And we will say a very well done to Pachyrhinosaurus, who finished second place, and a very, very well done to our savage itself, the Alpha Ineosaurus, the finished third. And I'd have to say, I Ineosaurus has been, this guy has definitely been the surprise of the tournament. Knocking out the Taurosaurus in the first round, demolishing the Eucentrosaurus in the quarters, getting past Astaractosaurus to get you. But unfortunately, Pachyrhinosaurus and Chasmosaurus just proved a step too much for our savage boy. But yeah, that is it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss out on the next mini tournament, there will be an egg tournament. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. <laughs>